morning, church. Good morning. <laughs> Happy days. We're going to read from the New King James Version. And hello to everyone online. Well, the heading is, What is Holy Communion? Good. Oh. The Holy Communion, known always, oh, come on. The Holy Communion, known also as the Lord's Supper, represents the greatest expression of God's love for His people. Two things are used in the Holy Communion: one, the bread, which represents Jesus's body that was beaten, scourged, and broken, right down to the flesh and bone, before and during His crucifixion, and the cup number two, which represents his shed blood on that cross. When Jesus walked on the earth, he was vibrant and his body was full of life and health. He was never sick. But before Jesus carried that cross, he was in a horrific way from the Roman soldiers. He took every whipping with every lash, lashing for our healing at the cross. God also took all our sicknesses and diseases and put them on his son, Jesus. His body was on Jesus' perfect and healthy body so that we can walk in divine health. That is why the Bible says, by his stripes we were healed. Yeah. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions and sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. His chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. In 1 Peter 2.24, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. And in Luke 22.20, Jesus tells us that the cup is the new covenant in my blood. And Jesus is in my blood. Jesus' blood and the apostles. <coughs> Paul, Paul tells that us that the blood of Jesus brings forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1.14, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins. Ephesians 1.7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the good pleasure of his will with the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accept in the beloved. So all these scriptures all speak of the same about how Jesus done it once and for all. Who will receive him today? His love can change your heart and heal you and bless you to live a clean life with everything you need to have a healthy, joyous, Holy Spirit filled with grace and mercy and love made whole. Put him first, yeah. number one, yeah. and I can say that everything falls into place. What are you waiting for? Jesus is the lover of your soul. He will never, ever let you down. He loves us all with such passion, especially the sinners. Dear Lord Jesus, we come to you today and remember all that you have done on the cross. Thank you for loving us so that we might be whole. As I partake, I receive your resurrection life, health and strength by your grace and mercy. I shall be completely strong and healthy all the days of my life. My eyes shall not grow dim, nor shall my strength fail. No sickness can remain in our bodies, because the same power that raised you, Lord Jesus, from the grave flows through us. By your stripes we are healed. So we'll take the bread and the wine. Thank you. 